Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we're looking at the indices, and they have been absolutely rocking today. So the S&P 500, we can see it's uh, up more than 2%. So is the NASDAQ, so is the Dow Jones, and, and so on and so on. We're trading at 3,912. And it would be really strange if we didn't see this rally today. So what, the question is whether or not you can continue. So, for example, we have stimulus, we have uh, vaccine news, and so on and so on. And that should be basically uh, enough firepower to make this go back to the upside however we need to take out these previous highs in order to go to 4000 so 4000 is the target trading at 3912 technically indicators they are turning around there's a lot of room to the upside here in the rsi so it is more likely that we are going to head towards 4000 now um so yes roughly um 80 points to the upside so uh, let's look at the Dow Jones. So the same thing here for the Dow Jones. We fell both uh, on Thursday and on Friday. And today we are rallying above 2% to the upside. So 32,000, if we manage to take out that, then we're heading towards the 32,500 and probably to 33,000 in yeah, in the in the in the long run, we are going to see pullbacks eventually. In this point, we are still in this. We are basically very much still in this um, this channel, upwards channel. So thirty two thousand five hundred. That is most likely where we are heading. Pullbacks towards the twenty exponential. That it should be uh, offering quite a lot of support at this point. So let's look at the Nasdaq. There you go. Nasdaq, same thing. It is not as bullish as the um, S&P 500 and the Dow Jones is. We're still trading underneath the 20 exponential. Last time we tested the 20 exponential that we basically broke down very aggressively and we're still trading underneath. However, this is a full candlestick. So pressing to the upside, that is a very, very bullish shine. So if we manage to take out the 20 exponential, start trading about that, then we could be heading towards 14,000 and probably in the long run to 15,000 in the coming uh, coming weeks and probably months. Technically, the leaders, they are not looking as bullish as for the S&P 100 and the Dow Jones. And I should basically am wary of this because as long as we're trading underneath the 20 exponential, then it's acting as resistant and not as support. But we have crossed the 50 moving average with basically minor difficulties. So the 20 should be less of a difficulty than the, than the, uh, the uh, 50 moving average. But looking at technical years, they are still either flat or they are bullish at this point and they are turning around. So we could be heading towards 14,000 within the next uh, few weeks. So let's look at the German DAX. The same thing here. It has not rallied as significantly as the other index indices, but we are up and we are testing these previous highs. We're trading at 14,000. If you manage to take out these uh, previous highs, then we're going to 14,000 to uh, 14,150, give or take. And then probably in the long run, maybe in the in the March, we could manage to get to 14,500. That should probably, we have been trading sideways. So yeah, that is possible. But um, at this point, uh, we need to take out these previous highs before we go to these levels here. Uh, we will most likely have a grind to the upside, pullbacks towards the 50, and then just continue upwards. Technically, the curves are uh, turning around at this moment, we are in uptrends, so pullbacks are possible buying opportunities. So let's look at a UK 100, which has been very bullish today, but we still have a problem, and that is the 50 moving average. 
we have rallied roughly 2% from the lows here of 6,459 and we're trading at 6,606 at this moment. We needed to break the 50 moving average, then we can go to 6,750. And if we manage to take out these previous highs here, then we are most likely going to test these highs of 6,916. Taking the indicators, they are turning around. So they are not as bullish as uh, the S&P and the Dow Jones, but this is a problem. I would be very wary of this until we basically start trend trading above the 50 moving average. We could roll over from, uh, from here and head back to 6,500 at this point. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.